Alright, hello, hello, how is everyone doing? My name is Dinah, and today uh, we're going to be doing a No Man's Sky video. But yeah, today we're going to be doing a Sentinel ship farm. Just some checks before we begin. I am playing on normal difficulty, and I have locked the settings, because, you know, otherwise I could just change it and cheat. But uh, as you can see, I have locked the settings, and I can't change the normal stuff. And to prove that, I, uh, that I'm not already on creative, uh, as you can see... Uh, I don't have infinite um, stuff to recharge with. I just have what I have to recharge with. And yeah, uh, without further ado, let's get right to it. So, uh, what you're gonna need to make your life easier is a Exocraft. Most, I guess the roamer is good if you have a good roamer. Uh, it just makes your life so much easier. And also, uh, make sure you are equipped enough to survive whichever planet you're farming on uh, let's begin with how to find a sentinel ship farm uh so let me just show you how so uh in order to find a sentinel ship farm uh, what you need is to find a dissonant system so as you can see uh it says fop dissonant here and all i have to do is go and enter the system which i already have and uh, find the planet that's uh, corrupted or dissonant. Uh, in my case, it is this one. And just go ahead and land on the planet. So this next bit may take a while or be really quick, depending on your RNG, uh, how quickly you find one of these things, which is, if you find it quickly, it's crazy. Um, so you're gonna wanna go ahead and scan around. Uh, now this might take a while, uh, but basically we're looking for one of those uh, sentient drill things that like drill into the ground. Uh, it has a unique symbol when you look at it through the visor. So I'm gonna go change to a different area and see if I have better luck there. Okay guys, so um, what we're looking for is that, a dissonance resonator. Um, just scan around the planet until you find one. And once you find one, go ahead and kill it. Um, here I'm unlucky because I'm getting an inverted mirror, which is not what I need. But I'll take it because I'll need it to build a sentinel ship later. Don't worry because you only have to do this once. So once you find an echo locator, you're good. No, it's another inverted mirror. This could, this is lucky for me, but unlucky for a new player who's setting up a farm. Once you have a farm, what you need to find are inverted mirrors. Wait, wait. It's another inverted mirror. I am so lucky. But a new player is not. Excuse me, sir. Do you have an echolocator? Yes! Finally! Okay, we found one with an echo lo echolocator. And now we're just gonna break it and grab it. Okay, guys. Now that we have an echolocator, uh, you wanna... Go to the inventory, uh, hover over the echolocator, and if you're on PC, hold E. I don't know what the controller control is, sorry. Uh, you hold E, and then it's basically a navigation ping, just like all the other navigation pings. And it pings you to a sentinel data structure or whatever. Um, I'm not going to ping it because I, I've already pinged mine. I already have it, so I'm going to go it, go ahead and go to where I got the ping. And if you're unlucky, it will say something like, there's no structures in this system. So you have to go ahead and jump to a different corrupted uh, dissonant system until uh, and do a scan there as well. Okay guys, so the place that it pings should look something like this. Uh, right here. And what you wanna do is go ahead and place down a base computer because uh, or, uh, if you want a cheaper option, just put down a marker. Because once you activate it, um, the marker disappears. Uh, the marker that it gives before disappears. Um, and you want to go ahead and go over to this harmonic interface. And there's like a puzzle. You have to uh, do the puzzle to uh, unlock the terminal and stuff. And once you unlock the terminal, you are ready to start on the... Uh, sentinel ship farm what you want to do to get started is you go up to the terminal and you go ahead and press locate dissonance spikes um, and it's gonna basically scan 
for other ships in the area, like crashed ships. And you can do this multiple times, like I've, I've done this probably like seven times now. And there it is, there is the ship that it finds. And if you haven't done a sentinel, like if you haven't repaired a sentinel ship before, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly show you guys how to. Hello, C class, that's okay. Uh, go ahead and grab everything here from the sh ship, including this brain. This brain is the most important. And now if you look here, to repair it, you need radiant shards, inverted mirrors, and a harmonic brain. Um, inverted mirrors is what we got from uh, those drills that we we hunted down before, um, because it's 50/50 echo locators or inverted uh, mirrors. Um, so we have five of those now, and we only need one per uh, new spaceship. Uh, so we're good there, and. For radiant shards, uh, they are basically those things, um, right there, uh, those crystals, uh, some of them are, uh, Atlantium, uh, so just check the name before you harvest it, um, so basically you need those, and once you've collected, uh, once you've collected an inverted mirror and three radiant shards, you're gonna wanna go ahead to the Hylian brain that you just got from the sentinel ship and hold E and it's gonna ping a place uh, for you to uh, it's gonna ping the place that you have to go to to unlock the brain um, you don't need to go into pulse drive because it's usually like 30 seconds away from the ship location which is pretty good and it takes you to one of these artifact sites and just, you know, go through the prompts, it's not that hard. And now you have a fully reconstructed brain for the sentinel ship. Okay, uh, now that you have gotten all the parts to repair the engine, you go up to the sentinel ship again and you activate it. And then you go compare and claim ship. Now the ship is yours for free and you can fly it out of there, do whatever you want. Um, but the purpose of this farm is to sell these. So, um, you could just sell these one at a time, or you could get a bunch of them and sell them at the same time. Um, which is what I think we should do. Sorry, I'm gonna go ahead and try to, uh, see how much, how many ships I can get in 30 minutes. Uh, and also see how much I make from those ships. Uh, so I'm gonna... Start the timer when we get back. All right, um, let me just see. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, uh, I'm gonna start the timer now. Okay guys, uh, we're gonna take a detour to uh, refill my launch thrusters, that's my bad. So I'm gonna pause the timer at 8.09. Okay, uh, let's get back to it. Alright guys, I'm gonna stop the timer there, and um, yeah, uh, the reason why I'm stopping the timer here is because uh, I already had some inverted mirrors at the start, uh, but you guys may not, so you probably would have to spend those extra couple minutes uh, looking for uh, those inverted mirrors, but don't worry, uh, in the, uh, when it asks you to find inverted mirrors, if you hold F, uh, it'll tell you exactly where to find them, uh, or at least if you're looking in the right direction. So don't even worry about it. Uh, so yeah, uh, we got a bunch of ships in 
uh, let's call it 30 minutes because obviously uh, I, uh, I had an unfair advantage. Uh, uh, but in those 30 minutes, we got these ships and now we're going to go to a space station and see uh, how much we make from what we got in the 30 minutes. Okay guys, so we are back at a space station and before we start selling the ships that we got, I'm going to uh, first sell the first ship that I did for the demonstration. So we're going to go ahead and sell this one. Uh, but this one doesn't count because uh, I found this one before we started the timer. Okay, it's worth 22 mil. Okay, okay, we can just take that away from the amount that we add up to. So our baseline will, I guess, be 130 million, as you can see. Um, let's confirm. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. So we got five ships during that run. Um, and uh, I believe it went B, 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 A, C, which is actually not bad. Like three B ranks and just one C rank is actually insane. It's a, it's a good ratio. Um, so what we're going to go ahead and do now is sell them. And I'm going to see how much we've made. So remember, uh, our starting baseline is 131 million. Let me just, let me just put that on, uh, <laughs> You know what? Screw it. We'll make it 132 million. Uh, just round it up. Okay, so now let's start selling these and see how much we make. So first we'll summon the this one. And if you guys don't know how to sell ships, it's basically through here. You go here, and then you go begin salvage analysis. And you do, ooh, 24 million, not bad. Uh, you claim scrap worth. There you go. And then it won't give you the money it'll give you the materials that cost that much money for the ship so you want to go over here and sell and as you can see uh, this is 23 million you just sell that yep sell that uh where is it i think that's all right okay that starship did not have many things okay yeah now we're just going to keep repeating that until we sell all of the ships that we got this run okay guys um so now we're just gonna tally everything up so we started with 132 million uh and ended with 278 okay um so that is 130 uh, 146 million profit from those 30 minutes of uh just uh finding the ships and farming them and honestly that's that's like double what i had before we started this uh this test so i think i think i'm gonna go ahead and say that this is probably a viable farming method for maybe moderate early um, players. I'm pretty sure I'm sure there's like better uh, options for like passive farms and stuff uh, for the future. But as a start, this is not bad. Um, and leave a comment down below if there's a, a better farming method than this that's like quicker uh, uh, to get money, uh, just credits in general. And yeah, just uh, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video uh, and also subscribe because we are trying to get to 1k subs and that would be amazing. Uh, so yeah, uh, thanks guys.